All right, guys. So the next thing we're going to look at is we're going to start looking at um, linear graph. Um, linear meaning straight line graph. Um, guys, from coordinate geometry, you should remember that y is equal to mx plus c is the general format of a linear equation and that the graph of a linear equation is a straight line. So again, from um, coordinate geometry, you should remember that if a line is vertical, the equation is of the form x is equal to a, where a is a number. If the line is horizontal, the equation of, is of the line is of the form, um, let us say y is equal to a, where a is a number. If the line is oblique, the equation is of the form, if the line is oblique, the equation is of the form, y is equal to mx plus c. If the line is oblique and passes through the origin, the equation of the line is y is equal to mx. So these are some stuff you should remember from coordinate geometry. So y is equal to mx plus c is the general format of a linear equation and the graph of a linear equation is a straight line. So if I draw the graph of a linear equation, it is going to be a straight line. Guys, only two points are needed to plot a straight line graph. All right, um, here it is. This says the point of intersection, we need to look, um, the point of intersection is something um, extremely important in graphs. Um, the point of intersection of two graphs and your understanding of it is extremely important in graphs. Guys, this says the point of intersection is the only point that is common to two intersecting um, linear graphs. So, if you have two linear graphs, let's say that's a linear graph, and this is a linear graph, the only point the two points have in common is the point of intersection. It's where the two graphs meet. It is the only two points, it is the only point that the two graphs have in common. So at the point of intersection, so, and, and that have some serious, um, I wanna say, consequences is it consequences no that's not the right word some serious implications because to get a point let us say on this graph y is equal to y1 is equal to mx1 plus c and let us say that this line is y2 is equal to mx2 plus d now to get to get points on this graph, I would put in values of X in the equation and calculate the values of Y. But guys, it's where those two, these two lines meet. Where at the point of intersection, Y's for the two graphs are the same. It's all right, let's just continue. It says at the point of intersection of the graph, Y is equal, Y1 is equal to MX, MX1 plus C and um, and the straight line y is equal to nx2 plus d, the coordinates of the y, the, the x and y coordinates are the, are the same. This should be the same. The x and y coordinates are the same. Um, therefore, y1 is equal to y2 y1 is equal to y2, that is mx1 plus c is equal to nx2 plus d. All right, guys, I don't want to tell on the shoot. I don't want to get into all of this. I don't want to. I'd rather spend the time, but even though I don't want to, let's just do this one video on it. All right, so here's what I was saying. Now, at the point of intersection, um, the coordinates, um, the x and y coordinates are the same. So um, it means, therefore, let us, it means, therefore, that for the two graphs, y1 is equal to mx1 plus c, and y2 is equal to n 
x2 plus d at the point of intersection at point of intersection, the two y's are equal. So y1 is equal to y2. This occurs at the point of intersection. It means therefore that the coordinates at the point of intersection of that and that is the solution, the x coordinate at the point of intersection um, of the lines y1 is equal to mx1 plus c and y2 is equal to nx2 plus d is the solution of the equation mx1 plus c is equal to nx2 plus d. That is something that you guys can look into and think about. Um, you're going to see significant applications of it as we move forward. The third thing that occurs at the point of intersection, now at the point of intersection of two graphs, um, of, the, of the point, sorry, the X and Y coordinates at the point of intersection of these two graphs are the solution of the simultaneous equation mx1 minus y1 is equal to minus 2. Um, nx2 minus y2 is equal to minus d. That again is something that you can look at. So what we're gathering from this, even though you might not fully understand, is that the point of intersection can be used to solve a graph. And to solve, sorry, the point of intersection of two graphs can be used to solve an equation and the point of intersection of two graphs can be used to determine, sorry, to solve simultaneous equation. And I'm gonna show you just how this works, um, just how this work um, in the next um, couple of examples. So the X coordinate at the point of intersection of two graphs is the solution of an equation and the X and Y coordinates at the point of intersection of um, two graphs is the solution of um, simultaneous equation. And I'm gonna show you that in action with example two.